since we've got a lot of new people on this channel, I guess I have to speak about this again. Now, for all of the OGs, they already know the deal. What I've noticed, we have people right now who are on self-improvement. That is a great thing. Honestly, I'm so grateful for that. But we have some people in this community. I won't exactly name who. It may be you. Honestly, it may be you. If you have a certain level of humility and uncomfortability, you will say that this is you. If it is, that is. Video games are a lie. Now, in what position am I really to speak about video games? I'm just some 18 year old who does productive things. I wasn't exactly always like this, if you're unaware. And I know already there are gonna be people in the comments defending video games and how they're just playing for a few hours a week and it's not that bad. You have to say this to yourself. You would say the same thing about weed if you were addicted to it. Let's not lie to ourselves. And I know this video will probably make my channel lose a few subscribers, but I do not give a flying f simply because I don't want people on this channel who play video games. You look at me as if I'm your older brother, right? Well, take my word to stop playing video games. I'm not calling certain video games out like, oh, Minecraft is bad because of this and League of Legends is bad because it literally wastes your time. But I'm saying video games in general because there is no such thing as a good video game. Today, we're talking about that. I'm gonna speak about my story briefly. I discovered video games when I was, I believe, four years old. Now that is extremely early and it might be even earlier than you. At this young age, of course, I discovered a new stimuli and I started playing them every damn day. Ever since the age of maybe five or six, I played video games non-stop. I would literally, here's the thing, bro. I remember waking up at 7 a.m. before everybody just to play video games. I don't exactly remember so much from my primary school, but what I can tell you is from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. That's how much I played video games when school started at 2 p.m. And this is a very weird thing for me to talk about because I never really knew I was gonna be like this. I always thought that video games are just gonna be my passion, the thing that I do, maybe the thing I do for a living, become a YouTuber, but I didn't really have a direction in life. I only knew one thing in this early stage of my life, that I was a gamer. And I remember saying this to a girl, she's a friend of mine, we live close to each other. I said when I was 14 or maybe 15, just before high school started, I don't care how much I have to study for this high school, I'll still keep playing video games for 3 to 4 hours a day minimum. Probably thought that I was gonna appear cool because I have all of the free time in the world. I can have all A's meanwhile playing video games at the same time. Then of course COVID happened, I got depressed, all of the stuff that I already spoke about on my channel. And this was probably my darkest time in terms of video game playing because I would literally wake up and have nothing to do. I didn't know about self-improvement and even if I wanted to start going to the gym for example, I couldn't because of the C19. And here's how my daily productive routine during C19 would look like. Wake up, eat a little bit of food, watch YouTube videos, and play video games. Maybe there was some online school but let's not lie to ourselves, we all know that that was bullshit. And I guess this was the peak of my Joe lifestyle. I would play Rocket League for 8, 10, 12 hours every single day. And that's how, in the time span of a year, I managed to gather up a thousand hours in this one video game that means nothing to me now. Which is one of the reasons why video games are so manipulative. Besides, I spent my youth, my brain energy, my time, and my health probably, to play a video game that means jack to me now. And I don't know if I was actually addicted to video games or not, because I stopped playing video games like that. Just in an instant, I didn't have withdrawal symptoms. I stopped playing video games like that after I learned that they were bad for me. I didn't actually know that video games were bad for me. Just like when you're young and you first discover p you don't know that it's bad for you. And for example, my parents as well, they told me that video games were a bad thing because first of all, you live in this sedentary lifestyle where you're sitting around playing your League of Legends and you're not playing outside. They knew instinctively that video games were a bad thing, but when you're young, you don't listen to your parents. What you do do is 
You listen to your older bro. And that's why I'm here. The reason why video games are so manipulative and deceptive is because they give you a false sense of achievement. They waste your time. They waste your life energy. And you get this mindset of a loser. You become that loser. Even if you don't consciously say to yourself, okay, I'm a loser because I play Rocket League for six hours every single day. You deep down know it. And I can't believe that every single young man nowadays has fallen for this. We all fell for the false achievement, the dopamine spike, because we've just scored a goal in Rocket League. We did a... What's it called, bro? The... Is it... Jump reset. No, 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 not jump reset. We did a musty flip reset, ceiling shot or something crazy like that. And we got a dopamine spike because of that. And this is the thing though. It's much easier to progress in a video game than it is to progress in real life. There might be some weird outlier who watches this channel who can balance... For example, being on self-improvement and playing video games literally for 30 minutes a day. But I cannot personally do that. I've noticed with me as I may have an addictive personality or just I like the dopamine. I've noticed with me as I actually did this yesterday. This is a confession of mine, okay? I wanted to watch this show that I liked a few years ago. No, it's not Friends, don't worry. I watched one episode and do you really think I said to myself, okay, I'm done here. No. I continue watching the second, and now today, I want to watch the third episode. This is the same thing, the same scenario with video games. Another reason why video games are manipulation, basically, is they contain a competitive ranking system. Have you ever asked yourself, why is that? Why is it that nearly every single popular major video game nowadays has a competitive ranking system? Bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, all of this stuff. It's because that represents the social hierarchy of that specific video game. Here's the thing, even if you're a video gamer Joe, you still want to become an alpha male in your craft. Alpha male is a term that is contextual. So there is an alpha male at the chess club. There is an alpha male in the kickboxing gym. This is why those nerds at esports show, they actually get a testosterone increase when they're playing, for example, the season finale, the super finals of the tournament. They actually get a testosterone increase because they're competing against each other. And why would you do that to yourself? Why would you level up in video game when you can level up in real life? And it's the same thing with any other now pleasure activity that you've fallen into. Video games give you a false sense of achievement. Bro, you should feel like the king when you're first on that leaderboard. But in reality, you're still a loser. You're actually the biggest loser. That's the thing. Because you've spent more hours than those other losers on that same video game. Personally, I see those 1018 hours I spent in Rocket League. I see that as a sin. Because imagine, just imagine, if I put those thousand hours into the gym. I know it seems like an okay bro example, but genuinely, imagine you. A guy who's put 5,000 hours in total into every single video game you've played so far. Imagine those 5,000 hours into a productive craft. Imagine you started a YouTube channel. You put 5,000 hours into it. There you go. That's your financial freedom. Is that financial freedom? Four hours a day on your YouTube. So that is everything. Video editing, recording. Four hours a day. Let's say 4,000 hours because I'm not a mathematician. 4,000 hours divided by 4, that's a thousand days. That's a lot of videos. 4,000 hours over the span of however many years you're playing video games. That's not really a long time. I mean, if you were playing every single day for 6 hours, you do the math. If I could, I would say one thing to my younger self. Just this one thing. Stop playing video games. I wish somebody had just slapped me and said to me, just stop it. Get some help. And you can quit today. It's not that difficult. And once you go on the other side where you don't care about video games, you're mindful, you're happy, you don't need the artificial stimuli to just exist. You look around, you see nature, you see trees, and you just say to yourself, God, this is so much better than League of Legends. And let's not lie to ourselves, you're not even happy when you play video games. When you were a kid, okay, you were happy because it was a novel stimuli. But now, you play video games, and if you were to record yourself, you would just be like this. And this is what you consider a funny moment when you're playing video games, by the way. It's just an exhale. 
Same thing with social media. You make your own choice. You can stop today. You can either be a legend in video games or be a legend in real life. That's it, bro. Hopefully you've gained some wisdom. Watch this video next, subscribe to our channel. And if you feel insulted, if I've insulted you during this video, then good, because you need to be insulted. I read you, Musebrat.